Okay, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there for some Grixis dragons. So that's right, we have a bunch of dragons that we're trying to cast and trying to cast early. We have our ramp spells here with Sarkin Fireblood that can add two mana to cast dragon spells and also Dragon's Horde, which is kind of like a mana rock that allows us to cast our dragons earlier. And we have our, our 12 dragons at the top end for each of Nicol Bolas and Niv Mizzet. These two are incredibly powerful, what the deck is built around. And then we have a couple Varix Blade Wings and Skargan Hellkites as well to kind of round out those dragons. Besides that, we just kind of have our, our normal uh, Grixis removal spells and everything. Discard, removal, a little bit of counter magic. Uh, you know, really going into black here for the discard and removal instead of just staying uh, blue, red, and being very Niv Mizzet based by just splashing Nicol Bolas. We're going heavier in with cards like Bedevil, Ritual of Soot. Thankfully, with all the, the Shock Lands and, um, and Buddy Lands, we are kind of able to have a pretty decent mana base, even though we are very heavy black and red and blue. <laughs> but we can, we can usually get there. So um, that's what we have going on here. So let's try out some Grixis Dragons. Oh, I'm sorry, Parappa. Sun Tomorrow's a work day for you. Well, we are doing the sub battle. We are doing a 12-hour stream because we got to 30 people signing up for Quip. So because we, we hit our next Quip goal, uh, we are doing making a 12 hour stream for the sub battle stream tomorrow so noon to midnight will be a long day so hopefully everybody gets a chance to <clears throat> join in on the fun should be yeah should be a whole lot of fun tomorrow so opponents on six and our hand is very good getting our turn two removal spell turn three sarkin turn four niv mizzet this is a great hand for us. Wow, it's only getting better. The opponent only has the one land. Okay, I just took out the second dive down. I've, I've usually had two dive downs in this deck. Basically always had two dive downs. I just took out the second one before this league. Let I'll show you unhinged. This Arkan is a May ability. We don't need to. So I, I could have just chosen to uh, keep the Lava Coil I in hand, but you. I felt like just digging towards more dragons. The ratio of shocks to buddy lands definitely uh, depends on the deck. This one has the full 12 of each in here. Um, but yeah, that, that definitely changes depending on the deck. Usually, on like three color decks, you, you probably want around like 10-ish. Shock lands, you know, give or take, give or take two, like plus or minus two, there. So mono white. I'm consider considering taking out thought erasure, honestly. With them usually emptying their hand really quickly, thought erasure is just a bad draw late. It's like. Good on turn two, but every turn after that, you don't want it. They can't take Conclave Tribunals and stuff. I think I, I, I think I may like Negate more than Thought Erasure because Negate you can have for later spells, or just having a Negate on turn two for history or whatever. They usually play a bunch of Conclave Tribunals, so do we want Dive Down for that? Hmm. Maybe just get if we get rid of Dive Down Negate. Yeah, Tribunal can, can be a problem. I think I like the dive down. Do 
Yeah, let's try and negate over Thought Erasure. The, the rough part about negate in this matchup is that we have so much sorcery speed removal that we're trying to cast. And so we can't really hold up removal and then also have negate. And then, like, if our opponent doesn't cast stuff, we can't just, like, then play our Lava Coil. The thing is, is our opponent... While Thought Erasure has more targets than Negate, our opponent also usually empties their hand really quickly. And so if we're not casting Thought Erasure on turn two, it's going to be a dead draw. Like, after turn two, it's basically... It can be a dead card for a while. I don't know. It's close. It is the kind of thing, though, that we can sit back on a Thought Erasure and wait for... You know, like our dragon, and try to be able to thought erasure a conclave tribunal first before casting the dragon. Yeah, this has been a game where our opponent's not doing too much. Both games they've got stuck on one lands. This game they mold the four. This has been kind of like a a frustrating day. Mana-wise, for just like a like this has happened to some opponents. It's happened to us a bunch. There hasn't been a, a whole lot of real good games today. <laughs> Nissa does not quite fit this deck, does? Yeah, I guess I should change out Nissa. Sorry, Niss. You were for our Stompy deck last time. Easily use two removal spells to take out the two creatures from history of Benalia. Ooh, that's a good good question are they gonna make is every planeswalker yeah because right now all the planeswalkers have voice lines and everything so are they gonna have 36 like voice lines for all the the planeswalker cards in the next set oh Sarkin Avatar? I don't... There's not a Sarkin. Careful. I'm getting bored. Let's go Rakdos. Ah, uh, starter deck Planeswalkers do not have voice lines. Oh, there is a, a Sarkin? Oh, I just missed Sarkin. We'll have to switch over to Sarkin after this. I'm thinking this is a Mulligan. You think this is a keep? Like, on the draw, I would like keeping this more. 
But we have to hit a lot of lands. We have to hit like you have to, we have to get two black sources for Bedevil, two black sources for Bladewing, four four sources in combinations of blue or red before Niv Mizzet. Like we can't really cast any of these things. This is better. Hmm. We could uh, certainly live to regret putting that ritual of soot on the bottom depending on what our opponent's playing. Simic Stompy thumbnail. So we're just trying to get to six mana for Niv Mizzet. Tick up there, so now a shock kills Sarkin. That's my bad. Let's see if we can Let's see if they find it. Let's see if they find this shock. So even with Sarkin dying. We don't really have very much else for Sarkin to do besides... Okay, Sarkin doesn't die. Basically just adding mana is all Sarkin was going to do here anyway. Land. A bold strike. Might demands power. Alright, so draw... You know, getting the counter on Dragon's Horde, using it to draw a card to ping a Terramander. Since we didn't draw the land, if we would have drawn the land, we could have coiled one and pinged the other. I'm going to send them both up the Terramander. They're dive downing the Terramander? That doesn't work. Thanks for just giving me a card though upon it. I will call the dragons. Alright, we still have a couple in the gates and dive downs and stuff like that up. This this game is very over. I 
Yeah, Nymph Mizzet is an incredibly good magic card. So if we have more Duress, more Negate, less Ritual of Soot, more Eldest Reborn, more Angrath, less Angrath, more Angrath. Unclear how much Angrath I want. Undetermined amount of Angrath. Hmm. This is 65. 64. I feel like the dragons... Horde, Sarkin, Negate. I think those are like the three cards I like the least. Thieves of Sandy for Esper Control and any Wilderness Reclamation deck. Or even like, like a Grixis deck, probably too. Um, like I, I don't think I need three Duress for Negate, basically. I don't I don't love this many duress negate. What's what's worse? What's better? Duress negate. Yeah, but Devil is amazing. I mean we need to kill their creatures. Like they're we're, we're playing against Drakes. Like they're gonna have Niv Mizzet, like they're gonna have crackling drakes, all that kind of stuff. We need Bedevil. Duress is worse. I oh, know y'all are saying dress is better. All right. All right, we'll go dress. I do like how dress, like dress, only costing one man instead of two, because we're gonna want to use either one proactively. Like we're usually gonna want our negate to counter their disdainful stroke on our dragon kind of thing. And so Duress only costing one mana instead of Negate costing two allows us to um, cast our dragon with protection earlier. Yes, our opponent's playing Drakes. My one basic in the deck. It's not great with Thought Erasure. But it's kind of necessary with Sarkin and Niv Mizzet. What are they doing shocking in that Blood Crypt? Do they have Spell Pierce that, that just... Are they just gonna start shocking this thing? Cool. Not madness. <laughs> what Discard a card. Madness. Hellkite. We could we could say no. I kind of want to discard Hellkite. Yeah, we'll discard Hellkite. I want to dig toward Niv Mizzet. Niv Mizzet is just so, so good in this this matchup. I want to dig towards Niv. Thought Erasure, and then Bolas. Double Enigma Drake. I guess I should, be, should have gone Bolas first, see what they discard, and then Thought Erasure, I guess. They are coming! But this allowed us like, to just, you know, triple double check to make sure see if we really want to cast a bolus. All right, like a Zoe, have a good night.
Dive down is like a problem. I don't want. I don't think I want to shock just for like the chance of them having a dive down. All right, two and zero. Oh. Whoa, we got a new mythic. This is a rare occasion. Wow. Tishana, Voice of Thunder. Oh. So dragons are better than drakes. Confirmed. hand has a lot of potential. We can hit some land drops. You play Tashana in Elves? Yeah, Tashana would be probably better as an Elf than a Merfolk in current standard. I was, I was trying to think of that, of like what we would do to make a Tashana deck. Well, dang. I assume there goes Niv Mizzet. Could see Nickel Bolas though too if they have more discard later on for Niv. So Grixis Mirror don't like having the Ritual of Soot. Ooh, Dragon's Horde is gone. Okay. Hellkite, okay. why are you here? They're going for the greedy play of, I hope they never draw any lands at all. It's a pretty greedy play. Hey, skinny fat man. Yeah, this is a good deck. This is a fun deck to play. Get to play this powerful dragon wizard. These 3D cards look so good. I am really glad they added these 3D cards. This is one of my favorites. in there so I get to attack immediately and you know our, our opponent really has to be focused on dealing with this bolus and hellkite now they off you know like they are a huge huge clock hmm all right now I kind of regret doing haste a little bit I like a ton all right, do we get the seventh land for Bolus? Eldest Reborn? No. Oh, that card's so good in this matchup. That's why I have one in the sideboard. Bring that in here, because now they get Niv-Mizzet. That Carnage is pretty sweet. Mm. This game's over. And then they get Steve Sandy hit plus Niv Mizzet. We are dead.
All right, Hellkites die pretty easily and don't offer you a ton of value. That that activated ability is not that worth it. I and I don't want to just have like a a curve of like tons of fives and sixes and everything like that. So I'm going to bring in these two five mana cards to replace those two five mana cards. Then what else? We're going to be doing... Uh, for to choosing who we're playing tomorrow, be basically like giveaway style. Like whoever's here in the room, ready to go. I still, I still have Lava Coil for Quick Thief. And then like Bedevil. And we're on, we're on the play. I think with me bringing in thief I think I want dragon's hordes out get one horde in I want a couple dresses yeah we still have like you know we still have a good amount of early removal for thief, we we don't need the cast downs. We have lava coils. Hmm. Hopefully, we draw well. This is not a matchup where mulliganing helps too much. Number of cards in hand are, are very important in these discard matchups. Your hand's looking respectable. As Kanta, though, is great. There goes Elder Shaborn. There goes the reason why we kept the hand. Hmm. Not looking good. Not looking good. As Kanta is a very powerful land. If I just play Niv Mizzet and they have Eldest Reborn, we die. And with our opponent keeping everything on top, certainly assume they have Eldest Reborn. You're just fuel for the fires of freedom. Damn your eyes. Re no fire, no steel. Oh, they just had double contempt and a hostage taker. Kept that card on top too. They just kept everything on top. Please no elves are born. Alright, let's draw some dragons. Dragon's Horde can get us some card advantage. Haza Shaker does uh, does take artifacts as well. Just 
Certainly not favored here. Format's too fast for Eldest. Well, our yeah, our opponent. Like these kind of matchups, it's it's awesome. Like this is where Eldest Reborn shines, and you know, like the, our opponent just won last game because of Eldest Reborn. Ours ours would have been great to have this last game. Yes. <laughs> But as beating Ascanto is going to be really tough. Our opponent's not wrong. Elvishborn's just gonna beat us. We have to draw our own Niv Mizzet again. Even then, the S yeah, the Escanta just powers us. We we are, I think we are drawing dead. What can we get? I don't even know what we can get. Yeah, their their Grixis deck is designed to beat Grixis decks better than ours is. If, well, basically they've had Eldritch Reborn resolve twice, and I haven't I've had zero Eldritch Reborn resolve. Yeah, I wish Bedevil would destroy enchantments. Oh man, Grixis would be so strong right now if Bedevil destroyed enchantments. Like the best cards against Grixis are like Eldest Reborn and um, Guild Summit. Hmm. Probably need the removal spell. Probably do. Hello. All right, they went Blood Crypt. I went Blood Crypt. Oh, they went Island. I can't go Island. All right, another Grixis Mirror. We are... Open our opponent does not have Eldest Reborn. The other thing is, our opponents have cast, like, both the other two games, our opponent cast, like, multiple Thought Erasures, and we didn't cast any, I don't think. At least none before. You will fall as told born. me I should do this. The dragon does not lose! Ooh. We get a Thought Erasure. Skargon Hellkite, why do you die to cast down? Gonna ditch the the Hellkite. The drag. I don't need this. I need this. Just going towards trying to blank the the cast down. 
There's only two Hellkites in the deck. Those are the only two there creatures that no die to the cast down. He told me I would find you here. Don't want to discard Bedevil. It's risky. No. Come to me. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, I like keeping the bedevil. The ritual Don't doubt my methods. Hey, there's a Niv. Look to the skies. Let's go with the bolus first. Okay. Is it they had something to kill? The, you know, like I basically want them to use the removal on the bolus over the Niv. <laughs> yeah, that's the same Bedevil from turn one Scry. Yes, our opponent has not played any creature and or Planeswalker. Um... Or Artifact. Are you ready? Yeah, Bedevil's not too uncommon. Or, sorry, Detection Tower's not too uncommon. People have that in their Grixis decks because of Carnage Tyrant. Uh, also good against Dive Downs. Did they just keep all four on top? They just kept all four on top. all of them and you know quickly kept that card on top again still I fear no pain I know what I'm doing A good one. Um, I think I just cycle it away because it just they just cast down it. I don't need this. I need this. Well, we're in big trouble. A dragon would rather die than lose. A dream eater just keeping four cards on top. All right, it was not, and we've we've gone through a lot of lands. So one, two, how many lands have we gone through? One, two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we've gone through seven lands. Yeah, that's about that's about right number of lands. 
13 lands and 25 cards or 28 cards. That's not too bad. Death means nothing to me. So I think the the biggest mistake I made that game was the turn that we had The, the turn that we had Niv Mizzet and Nicol Bolas in hand, and I led with Nicol Bolas. You know, our opponent had the counter spell for the Nicol Bolas, where I think if I if I lead with Niv, maybe that taps them out on my next turn, or like, you know, taps them out somehow, where then maybe I can resolve the Nicol Bolas. I think I should have led with Niv there. Yeah, Hellkite is very bad against other Grixis decks. Yep. And that's why it's coming on out. I think I want more dresses and negates than I had last time. I don't know about this many, though. Go three and three. Cutting dive down against the discard heavy spell deck that can play around it accordingly. Ah. I need to switch to Sarkin. That was our problem all along, huh? Hopefully we draw Thief of Sanity this time. We're bringing in our four Thief of Sanities. We want to draw one. On at turn at three. Dang, didn't get there. Be a perfect time for Thief Sanity. Okay. So, eats a counter spell. Alright, that's one less counter spell for Angrath. Would have been better last turn, of course, but oh well. Love it. Better not have spell pierce. Alright, better not have dive down. <laughs> Your crew for my freedom? <laughs> A fair price. Perfect. So we'll no make them discard fire, first. No steel. I think before we duress. <laughs> oh wait, cast downs actually have targets. We have Thieves of Sandies. Dang it. But yeah, we'll just... Obviously we're going to get rid of those cast downs before our opponent... Get rid of those cast no downs from fire, our opponent before we actually no play steel. anything. Power with just Angrath. Angrath's going to get rid of the cast downs. No fire, no steel. OK, 
Okay, can we get a game three on the draw? So if I played no thieves on the draw, you could blank cast down completely. Which means I would have to play another negate and a dive down and two dragon swords. Is that worth it or is it better just to have the thieves in the deck? I guess I could play a craving or ca I mean I could just play my own cast downs. to kill their thief hostage taker and dream eater kills all those let's do that Okay. Oh, they have like more duresses. Thought Ragers just don't have Thievus Andy next turn. Ugh. Keep the fourth land just to make sure that we have that, and of course, obviously, we just immediately draw another land. Is that Niv Mizzet? They're just saying Bolus? Okay. Not that bad. I mean, we get to just cycle it. Huh. That was... They didn't take anything from the library. They just took the one Nicol Bolas from hand. None from the library, so it just replaced itself with another Bolas. That's not something you see every day. Going up with the shame scoop. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Especially how, like, it was, like, the card that our opponent took, Nicol Bolas, was the card that we drew off of Unmoored Ego. Like, has that ever happened before? You name a card with Unmoored Ego, and then you immediately draw that card for taking other ones? I mean, I guess that could happen if you name, like, a basic land. So he, our opponent picked Nicol Bolas, exiled the Nicol Bolas from hand, didn't exile any from the library, and then we immediately drew a Nicol Bolas off of that trigger, or off of like the, the, the rest of the card. I had never seen that before. Alright, what do we got here? Hey, better lucky than good. Thanks for that resub. Thanks, so many sweet decks, so little time. Know about that. Let's get some hype in the channel. It's our 10th uh, sub of the day. First sub in a couple hours. Thanks for bringing this 
hype in here. Better lucky than good. Ooh. Ritual of Soot means... Means I'm going to wait till next turn and cast this Ritual of Soot. <laughs> Wadka is also bringing into my... Oh, that's awesome. There you go, better lucky than good. Saying someone was looking for a Bant deck, told them to try the Bant Legends, and they absolutely love it. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah, okay. Meow, meow. Okay, we're at 11. Are we going to win? More at 11. Tune in later at 9. 6. Kill all these. Alright, they have two lands in hand. No more spells. No more spells, Hawkeye. Just two lands. They're deciding which land to play from hand. I guess we Feel could. Uh, we have two negates. We could hit negate. No, we did not. Hey, Emmanuel. Yep, always on. Hmm. Tomorrow we're doing a sub battle stream, and it's gonna be 12 hours because we got to our next quip goal. So we're, for 12 hours, I'm gonna be battling against subscribers all day tomorrow. It's gonna be awesome. So if we do this, this is 60 here. Yeah, we'll go with this. Oh, that's awesome, Jelly Tug. You're going to be here all 12 hours? Awesome. Oh, it's not a mulligan. I definitely like having Bolas. Bolas is a real important card to have in this matchup. Ooh. So if I play Steam Vents tapped, I can play Sarkin next turn, but I don't have Negate up right now. That's That's the plan, though. Ugh. Ugh. I need the negate for those. Woo! Nice. Those are awesome hits for us off the light of the stage. Awesome hits for us. Who are you to call me mad? <laughs> they cannot cast Phoenix here, and I, I don't think they want to cast Flame McKeld. 
Maybe they do. They play a one mana card and then flame a Keld and discard three. Blah. Another flame of in hand. Hmm. Yeah. This is bad. Hey, Phoenix. Brown, brown. Steam can. I take these spells. Before this third chapter of Flame of Keld. Even though I'm not saving three life by not casting the negate. I wanna, I'm saving the negate for this turn just in case. Wow, no attacks? Wow. Our opponent really needed to attack there. Both of their creatures were 4-2s because of Flame Akeld. They're both dealing 4 damage. Down to four. Ooh. I mean, if we attack another Viachino Pyromancer kills us, or Lava Runner, either one. We don't attack, we're just not killing our opponent though. Can we kill our opponent next turn? 
is 13. Drawing the card is 14th. We need, a cat. We need to draw like any spell. Uh, I think like that hand, that that card in hand is just another land. They've been holding it for a very long time, so I think it's just a land. They've seen 21 cards. I don't feel like they have another land. We didn't draw the spell to be able to kill them, but that attack certainly let us. Oh, if I flip Bolas and draw two. Oh, okay. Well, we were protected against any one individual card they could draw. I want Cry the Carnarium over Bedevil. So they have they have Rekindling Phoenix. Phoenix and Flamekeld. Hmm. Hey, Narnan. <laughs> that was a punt, not just not killing my opponent when we couldn't possibly lose. I don't know if that's a punt. We just couldn't lose. I just passed the turn. When Core 29, Core Set 2019 rotates out in the autumn, we'll players in arena be able to continue to use cards that carried over from core set 2019 into core 2020 yes yes like so there's a card that's re that was in core set 2019 that has been reprinted in core set 2020 and it's still legal in standard uh, you'll still be able to use the m19 version we have one moment of craving in the deck. Hmm. Don't think this hand's going to win. Let's go ahead and ship this. Don't really like this one either. But don't want to go to five. Attack with Volus and play a new one. That was certainly a, a move that I was considering a lot, but by the time, by the time we could have done that, it was uh, like basically, if I could have done that and kept, kept negate up, uh, that was something that I wanted to do. But by the time we had six mana there, um. You know, we, we played Niv Mizzet like that last turn. Um, because our opponent had three creatures at that at that point. So at that point I didn't want just a second blocker. What's with all these lands? What did I scry on top? Oh, I scryed the Blood Crypt on top. Because we had all all tap lands, we need the shock land. I think we're dead. We have 
eight lands and ten cards. Like, what are we supposed to do? No, our, our opponent's not mana screwed at all. I mean, I guess I could have gone to five. I mean, or if I just knew I had more shock lands, I could have put the blood crypt to the bottom. But that's not. We can't really afford to put the blood crypt to the bottom then, because you know we're playing lava coil on turn three and nickel bolus on turn five. I guess I could have looked for a five card hand and seen what we got if it was better. I don't know. Just had lots and lots of games like those today. Uh, it's kind of why we're having like the two twos and three twos and all these. We've just had a lot of games where we just don't get to really play magic. Can't wait for London Mulligan rule. If we had like that seven at the very least with London Mulligan, we know to ditch one of the the dual lands. I you know I don't know if we we win. We probably don't. But we at least you know keep the keep the shock land, ditch one of the the other lands. Because we had like a, a card on top that we needed in our hand, but it was not one that we wanted. And then all the rest of the cards we drew were just more shock lands. And oh well. All right, so another disappointing end to a league with a game that we didn't get to play too much magic. But uh, I don't know. The deck's still pretty good. Mono red is a weakness for sure, and I could do more for that matchup. We talked about maybe taking out a lava coil for another moment of craving, even in the main deck. Um, I could have waited on the lava coil. You know, I killed the firebrand, and then our opponent had, after our opponent didn't do anything on turn two, and then they had steamkin, and we didn't find another removal spell. the The problem with waiting on coil, just you know, taking the that damage from firebrand over and over again. Um, you know, adds up, and we already knew we were going to be slow, and so I wanted to save every point possible. The other thing about not killing Firebrand means that uh, it turns their burn spells into being able to, uh, like their three damage burn spells, sorry, being able to kill Nicol Bolas in hand. I, I really don't regret Lava Coiling the Firebrand on my turn two on the draw after opponent not playing any any other creature on turn one or turn two. It just happened, though, to be that my opponent played a Steamkin the next turn, and then the Steamkin was, you know, hitting for four a couple of times. Just happened to happen, and, and then we didn't draw any other removal. You know, we had, you know, like all these other removal spells still in the deck and, and Moment and Cry and stuff. Oh, well. So that's uh, Grixis Dragons. Skargon Hellkite was our, our worst card by a long ways this league. I could certainly just see taking out Skargon Hellkites and just replacing Hellkites in the main deck with things like Angrath or Eldest Reborn. Um, some more versatile cards, some better cards there. This was the, the worst card in our deck. Hellkite is, is a very good top end to an aggressive deck. But we're a lot more of a controlling deck. And the Hellkite was pretty bad for us. I do think Hellkite's better than Demanding Dragon. But Demanding Dragon's better against aggro. How it gets to be a 5-5 blocker and hit them for 5 right away. Or make them sack something. But uh, I, th I think just maybe just having the like something like Elisha Born Angrath instead. Dragon's Horde wasn't very good for us this game. Maybe we need to trim down on Dragon's Hordes. I don't know, maybe we just supposed to go more controlling. We kind of miss just having a card like Vrassus Contempt that gets to gain a couple life, which is very important life, and and exiles as well. Maybe we're just supposed to be Grixis Control that has Bolas and Niv Mizzet and not play Bladewing and Hellkite and maybe not have Fireblood and Horde, these kind of things. Or maybe a couple Sarkins. 
maybe just go away from like maybe maybe it'd just be better of a deck if we just move away from dragon sword blade wing and hellkite and play some better spells like play like contempts and and grass and eldest reborns and things like that and just search for escantas like we're you know not having search for escantas maybe maybe that's something because you know like certainly got destroyed by other Grixis decks with Search for Escantas and Elvish Reborns. Yeah, Re Rekindling Phoenix is a great card. It's Phoenix is a better individual card than Varric's Bladewing or Skargon Hellkite. Phoenix is better individually than either of those, but um, those are, you know, dragons that have the synergy with Sarkin and Dragon's Horde. Um, but yeah, maybe just maybe just the two good dragons, like niv and Nicol Bolas, and not try too hard for all the rest of the dragons. All right, so that's Grixis Dragons again. Uh, if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.